<laughs> hey zoo family so we are at our probably our favorite staple when it comes to places to go when we're in wake forest and we're at Poolin park today you guys excited yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's amazing timmy where are you there's timmy yep so we are here uh, it says it opens at 10, but I don't think the kids want to do any of the extras today. They just want to play in the park and go on like a little hike. It's breezy and it's cool and it, oh my goodness, it's just perfect. It's a perfect day to go to this beautiful park. And they're already up the web. Even Timmy's trying it. You touched it, good job. Literally the perfect day. It's absolutely gorgeous out. Look at all these Canadian geese over here. A couple in the water. Lots of them over here. What are you doing? You're a goofball, you know that? Don't get sick. Or hurt your head. Now you're concrete, let's go. Okay, this time at Pullen Park, not everyone wanted to do everything, so Three of us are gonna ride the carousel, the two little ones are gonna ride the boats, cause they fit in the boats, and then we're all gonna ride the train at the end. Got on the carousel. You ready to go? All right, let's go. You hit the bunny. That's cool, Tim. It's not a bunny. Oh, I thought it was a bunny. And these are on ostriches, these two. And he's on a bunny. And I am on my horse. We'll call you Jasper. Hold on, Bubby. Timmy, hold on, please. You have to hold on. I think I got a stick. I think I got Do you hear those laughters? I love it. I love that they're still little enough to do this. They're so close. I love it. I love that they're so close. Logan, where are you going to go? Huh? To Florida. This strange thing happens when we're at theme parks. It doesn't matter how hard the kids are playing. If we ride a train, they all almost instantly get tired. That phenomenon leads us to the question of the day. What ride makes you tired? Could be a plane ride or a drive in a car or a ride at a theme park. What ride makes you tired? Okay, so we left 
school and park and we are now getting lunch at a place called Shorty's. Dad said it was really good. He ate there a couple days ago, so we're gonna check it out today. And then it's nap time because we are overly exhausted. Hey, Zoo family. Maybe you didn't think you'd see me today, uh, but we are here at an Italian restaurant here in Wake Forest. It's actually a place I think is new. I don't remember it being here last time. Uh, you guys coming? They'll make it. The house was here, yeah. The house is probably, uh, I don't know. How old would you say it is? It's kind of old, right? It's been remodeled and stuff, but it is probably more of a historical home, remodeled and turned into a restaurant. It's really quaint, it's kind of cute, cute. And um, we'll see how accommodating it is for kids. Can't you tell me? I could have dressed up fancier. What is it? Kind of above above your clothing level because you're wearing shorts. Well, what would you is this shirt in? fancy a little? That is not fancy. Oh, no. Man, you look, this you look like a poor college kid. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a pretty place. What they've done in here, you can kind of get the feel that it, uh, it used to be a home. Mm. It's kind of cool. I got scallop risotto. Everyone has a bolognese and butter noodles for the little two guys. And mommy has bolognese as well. It's kind of funny, we got put in our own room over here, but it's kind of low traffic. It's probably not because we're a family of six or anything. For now, we're gonna sign off and say we'd like, subscribe, comment, share. We love you, Zoo family. Bye. Bye.